Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you may know, I just recently filmed about my Ethereum plans, especially my Queen of Ethereum, the Warakianum, into Lava Rock and Pumice. In this episode, I'll be talking about my philodendron. You guys, I've talked about that, that I wanted to transition my philodendron into Lava Rock and Pumice, and now is the time. And it's been almost a week and you guys have got a good result from it as well. So hopefully you stay tuned until the end so you can see what I did for these plants. So let's do the talking. Okay guys, I'm very excited to share with you about these plants because I've talked about this one from the last video that I made. And you guys, there's a result for a week, almost a week now, because I did uh, transition uh, these plants um, May 26, and we are now in the second. So I'm just so happy because these plants are giving me good result, even though I don't know what's gonna be the result. <laughs> so why not show you the plants and let's do the reviews two of them i had it for quite some time however because of the thrips i had from the old place i wasn't able to you know kind of keep them happy for a longer period of time but uh, when we moved here or prior to moving here in the new place i placed the one plant into the water so it's been living in the water for quite some time as well and then the other one it was sitting in perlite and sphagnum moss it's happy but i don't know like i don't know what's the science behind it the substrate that i'm using now are love rock and pumice and then i included a fertilizer on it so all in all what i used for these ones Lava rock, pumice, and my own fertilizer. <laughs> Not my own fertilizer. I mean, the fertilizer that I'm using for this one. It's just pretty much a hydroponics uh, fertilizer. This one is the first plant that I had on my Instagram. If you're my follower on my Instagram. If you happen not to, feel free to add me so we can chit chat and be friends on there. <laughs> so yeah, this one is the first plant that I had. I remembered I'm having a hard time keeping this happy so I had to cut uh, some of the leaves and propagate it. It didn't really work in the water propagation right away. I don't know why. And that's way back 2019. And then I had uh, some of the babies gave it away to other people and i'm not sure how they are uh, i believe i've given uh, three of them then thrips coming back and forth so i don't know how to keep them happy and safe because you know i live in a small apartment and all of my plants are together in the same place so tendency that predator keeps on flying and going around into different plants I have. To cut it short, it didn't really uh, do well in coco core, and then I transitioned it into perlite and uh, sphagnum moss. It did a little bit shoot a new growth, but then it died right away. So I don't know exactly what's going on on this plant. If you have this plant, just let me know. Comment down below. By the way, the name of this one is. Philodendron panduriformi or panduriform. I'm gonna show the name here so you guys can see on the screen. And I've had many leaves of these ones, but like I said, it didn't really do good to me in the old place. And now it was graduated in the water. I place it in lava rock and pumice you guys after a week look at the result i hope you can see yeah so yeah that's how it is it's very juvenile and this is gonna be how it looks when it grows like, like well when it grow bigger i should say 
so I'm very happy I wasn't able to fill it really full on top because I ran out of the rocks and it's quite you know heavy as well but I'm happy because this plant is happy now because I really really want to have this plant so bad before and I wanted to have it really big and thrive in my care but that's not the case so I'm really hoping transitioning it into this substrate will give me a really really good result so again this is my philodendron panduriform or panduriformi I'm not sure if I'm saying it correctly like I said if you have this plant let me know down below what's your care how long do you have this plant do you have any problem propagating this plant because I have and like I said I've had this for quite some time now if you are my follower on my Instagram you will see the first picture and this was the first post so there you go guys let's move on into my next plant okay this plant here I've had it for quite some time now as well and uh, I got it from Aquagenera the name was Mame, but I realized it's not a Mame because I have one Mame before and it didn't survive because of the thrips. This one, actually, I have a video of my philodendron plants together with Pastizanum. The Pastizanum didn't survive because I forgotten to look after that plant. It's really sad. However, I didn't really like it, so it doesn't matter. But of course, the money. Anyway, so this plant here, the seller called it Mame, Philodendron Mame, but they said it's the Philodendron Silver Cloud. For this one, I had it after the thrifts, I had it to Coco Core, and then I had it to Perlite and Sphagnum Moss as well. Didn't really give me a good result. And then when we moved here, I placed it again into coco core and then perlite and that's where it started to shoot new leaves i have one leaf and then last month it shoots um, other tiny leaf and then now it's you know the new growth it sprouted already from you know transitioning it into this substrate so this is look at how tiny that is but you guys, mind you, the stem is really tall. I mean, it's really long, I should say. And uh, I don't have a good source amount of roots in here. However, this is the new leaf now. So this was the first leaf that it came in after transitioning into coco core and perlite. This one. And then this one came in. They're very, very tiny. It, this plant came to me with huge leaves, of course, from Aquagenera. Now that I place it in the lava rock and pumice substrate, and this is the new leaf. Yeah, that's the new leaf, guys. I don't know what happened to this one. It's a new tiny dot. But there's no insects or anything. And I'm very happy because I want to save this plant. But like I said, I don't really want to collect philodendron anymore. I've had so much and I've killed so much as well. I've had my philodendron gloriosum and it's the beautiful philodendron I had. It gave me a lot of leaves and huge huge leaves however because of the thrips 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 that's annoying nuisance call it uh, whatever you call that uh, predator is really 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 not good for your plants if you have that the last philodendron is my ernest ernest I'm having a hard time pronouncing some of the plants. I don't know why. The Philodendron Erne Ernestii, Ernestii or Ernesti. So this one here, it gets a little bigger, the leaf. 
from the day I got it from Equiflora. So this was from Equiflora. You guys look at that. So this is gonna be a, this is gonna be a, a new growth very soon. So I'm very happy. And also I have a tiny bud in here. I hope you can see that. It's right there hiding. So pretty much like I can I can tell this is happy in the substrate because this was in coco core before and uh, I don't know some of the philodendron they love coco core like it varies I guess it varies in your environment condition as well and at the same time how you mix your your media because that's very very important and it will take a lot of you know process it's a learning process you will get your right recipe they said <laughs> recipe once the plant showed you something healthy or happy that means they're good in the environment that you are in so for this one this is my philodendron ernestii and or an ernesti like I said, I'm not sure if I'm saying all the scientific name or the species correctly. So if you know how to say it properly, let me know how you say it or just comment down below. So that's all pretty much for my three philodendron. You guys, I am very happy. I wanted to show you some of the philodendron or most of the philodendrons however i don't want to make this video long so i'm gonna make that or i'm gonna film that in the next video you guys all of my in theorems i well i lied sorry one of my in theorem is not in the substrate that i'm using at the moment and that's my in theorem lux or luxury luxuriant and most of them I transitioned it into Hummus and Lava Rock. So this plant over here is the plant that I really, really love. And I got this one from Indonesia. If you happen to see my, or if you happen to watch the video that I filmed about Indonesian plants or plant hollow, whatever, I forgot what's the title. Just click the link on top. It will direct you into that video and I have this plant in Gogo Core Perlite and Bark this time I transitioned it into the substrate that I'm using I keep saying lava rock and pumice and you guys so this I accidentally cut this off when I was uh, taking out from the box so this was my I don't want to say the word anymore because I don't know if I'm saying it correctly. Poppy, Inferium Poppy X Magnificum in a dark form. See ya. And I have a good result. Look, for almost not even a week. So I did all of these plans. I meant to say I transitioned all of these plants into lava rock and pomade May 26 that night and then we are in June 2nd so 26 27 20 29 30 31 1 2 uh, four days I had the result right away compared to the water can and recall that I had it took only two days so let me just I hope you can see that so that's a new, new growth here you go. I'm very excited guys because I really wanted to have this really huge and I don't know. If you are a plant lover, you will know what I'm saying. But if you are not into plants, you probably think about that I'm crazy. <laughs> because you know i've had a lot of plans i don't know i just love plans nowadays i just cannot uh, stop getting different species 
and you know study them grow them learn how to kind of give them a try on how to bring them into a different environment so it's exciting and it's very at first it's very challenging because you know you don't know how to care for them you don't know what media they wanted to grow however like i said it's a learning process you cannot get the plants happy right away so just be patient that's all i can say to you guys because patience is a virtue and once you see the growth of these plants or the plant that you are looking after it's really worth it and yes that's all for this video i hope you guys learned something and i hope you guys got excited about using this type of substrate you can also try different substrate however these substrate are very porous so you don't have to worry about getting root rots for your plants if you wanted to try it you can always do it but just try it for one plant for now because i don't want you transitioning all your of your all of your plants and then ended up dying and then blaming other people especially me because i'm you know giving you the reviews so i hope you guys will like it as well you guys if you don't like these substrates you can also try different substrate or media out there and also the one that i've talked about from the last video which is the ponds the lechuza ponds has good information on how to use the product so you don't have to worry about which or what you're going to use for your plants and if you are not into these substrates because it's quite expensive then just try soil but make sure you have good aeration so that you don't kill the plant for overwatering and getting root rot in me. So that's pretty much it guys. Please, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you wanted to be notified, just click the notification, whatever you see here on the screen. So you are updated for the video that I'm doing every week. Not really consistent which day I have to film the video but promise that I will be doing my video every week so you guys get updated. So yes and please follow me on my Instagram Abel's Plant and until my next video please watch the next video because it's very exciting. I'm going to be talking about Anthurium plants so stay tuned. Bye for now.